Hey guys, it's Tark with FPVProfessor.com and I had a, a customer ask me about doing the DIY kit or the plug-in pilot kit and he's running on a Mac and he could not get the um, BL Heli to work properly and that's because the software that's available is for the BL Heli 32, 32-bit version and one of these builds or two of these builds are using the 16-bit version. So I'm going to jump on over here to my Mac and I'm going to show you how to do it. So give me one second here. Let me throw this up on the screen. We're going to start with FPVProfessor.com and uh, we're going to take it from here. So let me just go, uh, let's go take out the bookmarks bar. We don't need to do any of that. And let's just check out here. If we go to FPV Professor, um, we're going to need to go to our drone kits and videos and go to the downloads page right here. Okay. And then from there, what we're going to do is you're going to see now I added this link right here. This is the BL Heli Suite download for Chrome. And this is, now you can use this for Chrome guys, but at the same time, uh, I don't like using the Chrome version. However, if you're using a uh, Mac, this is going to be the best way for you to run this on the Mac. So let's go ahead and click that real quickly. And you're going to go to the Chrome store here. Now, I've already downloaded it, so mine says launch app. Yours, if you don't have it, will probably say download or what have you or add the extension, whatever the words are. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click launch app. Okay? And here we go. So this is going to be the BL Heli that we use um, if you're running on a Mac. All right? And then I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to take the quad that we're working on. And I'm just going to plug this in and show you exactly what uh, the response should be from the computer. So hang tight a second. Let me show you how this is going to work. I've got a, I'm using a Mac uh, book here. So I've got to just make a few adjustments. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can do it this way. Hold on. So let me see if I can plug it in like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at these. See this menu right here? This is what we're going to be looking for right there. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Okay. Um, I need to try to get this to where I can make it reach. That's not gonna work, so let me go over here. All right, so I'm gonna plug this in. Sorry, I need to plug it in where I can give it a battery also. So now you can see that my, my comp part changed to the CU USB modem, right? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the drone and I'm gonna plug it in like normal. So I can show you, I can split screen these two. So let me just, um, let me do a picture in picture here. So there's this with this. So there's the drone right there and it's plugged into my Mac and I'm gonna turn it on, okay. Okay, now once we do that, again, I think the picture is covering the connect button, but you'll still click connect. And all of a sudden, uh, it's gonna tell you, make sure that you've taken the props off, so go ahead and uh, go ahead and click read setup. And it's gonna go ahead and read the setup here. So if you're using this software to do this, then what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna check if you wanted to flash the firmware, okay? You can look around here, there's really not much to change on this screen. There's really gonna be, there's not gonna be that many settings at all actually. But if I wanted to flash the firmware, right here I can see it's firmware 16.7. So if I click flash firmware, and I can go to, I would not use the beta. So 16.7 is the official, which is exactly what's on here right now. So there's really nothing to change at this point. So you can click cancel, all right? And then um, outside of that, everything else here is gonna be pretty simple. So you can um, check your programming by TX. There's that option if you're going to be doing the calibration of the motors. So you would check this and you would save it. Uh, and then you would do the calibration like normal. So in this case, um, you would uh, you would click this, and let's um, let me make sure I've got everything else here that I want. Uh, you could do your motor direction here, so reversed. Okay, so remember if you've got to turn it, if they're going the wrong way, you'll switch those here. Uh, the programming by TX would be the same way. So let's just say that we are going to do programming by TX, um, and um, and then we're going to click right setup. Okay, now this is what we're going to do if we were going to calibrate, remember, because we calibrated before. So now what we're going to do is, now I'm going to go back to um, my, I can actually open beta flight. I think I've got it loaded on this Mac as well. So if I load beta flight here, I believe, I'm going to click disconnect over here now. Uh, okay, let me click disconnect. And then here is my beta flight configurator. Um, I don't even think this is the new version. Let me find the new version. Let's see what we got for the new version here. I'm pretty sure I have it loaded already, so let me just close this one and see. Bear with me a second. Yeah, there's a new version, okay? So on the Mac, here's the new version of Betaflight Configurator. So now I can go ahead and connect, okay? And we can do, I'm gonna power off the motors. Actually, let me disconnect, power off the motors. Okay, we're gonna connect. And then we'll reset and calibrate. Let's go to our motors option here. And then we will crank these all the way up, turn the power on. Drop again, wait for the tones to finish. 
Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and disconnect, and then we can minimize our um, beta flight, and we can go back into our BL Heli, click read setup. Okay, and we can see um, our min and our max. So if you look here on mine now, I do show that we have ESC number two. The uh, max is less. It's, it's higher than the rest of them, so we need to bring that down to make it match. So let's bring it to four. Okay, right there. Now they're all the same, and you have 10, 12. Everything else is right, and we're gonna go ahead and remove the program in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and click right setup. Okay, and it's done writing, and there you go. So now, if you wanna see what it's like, we'll click read setup here, and it's gonna automatically reread everything on there. You're gonna see all the settings here are perfect. So. That's it. This is exactly what you're going to do if you're running uh, on the Mac and you need to run the 16-bit version. Okay, so guys, I hope that helps you. Uh, if I need to slow it down or make that video a little bit easier, let me know. But this is strictly for um, those folks that are either running, going to run it on Chrome uh, or you're running on a Mac and you need the 16-bit version. The 32-bit version of the Beta or the BL Heli will run the exact same as it does on the PC and you can download that from the uh, Mediafire link that we have above this one, okay? If you have any questions, guys, let me know. Otherwise, have fun and I uh, hope this build is going well for you. We'll see you soon. Peace.